Ag Tech Tech Tip Using point labels to filter data. When using the label selection utility, the line label of the selected line is used to select all lines with the same label. There are times when the CAD layers contain more data than needed. Another filter is the point label. In this example, you can see the text for the pads is in the same layer as all the other text on the job. If we want to use the auto pad feature, we need to isolate just the pad elevations. You can see the point label of the pad text begins with the letters PAD. Make sure no lines are selected and click the label selection button. Check point label and enter PAD and an asterisk for the wildcard character. This means any data with a point label beginning with the letters PAD will be selected. Click OK. You can see all the points inside the pads are selected. Right click and select line editor. Change the line label to pad text. Click OK. We can now select a line in the original layer and click the label selection button and select View Hide to hide the selected lines. Select one of the pad elevations and click the Label Selection button. All the pad text will be selected. We can now use the AutoPad utility. Select Utility AutoPad. Enter 0 for the offset distance and click OK. And the elevations will be assigned to the pads. In this example, we can see the finished floor, ground floor, and basement floor elevations are all in the same layer. If we want the finished floor, you can see the letters FF at the beginning of the point label. Again, make sure no lines are selected. Click the Label Selection button. Check Point Label and enter FF asterisk and click OK. Only the finished floor elevations will be selected then use the AutoPad utility to assign the elevations.